Not only is it a dream to just be a college athlete, but everyone who is a college athlete knows about college sports. You dream of having your own stadium that you can just say, this is where we play our soccer games. It would just mean the world to us to have our, our own home, a home base that, that we can defend. It would do so much for the team. And uh, how it's gonna feel walking into our own stadium and, and, and trainings and, and our own complex, you know, it's, it's something that it's just, it's, it's gonna be so rewarding. The Warriors have scored the opening goal here. Oh! He's trying a shot on goal, and it goes in over the head. In the middle, this one gets in the goal. Into the penalty area, ball is loose, and it's into the back of the net. Oh! The team runs onto the field. ESU with the overtime goal. Well, I came out of Liberty High School, played soccer and baseball there, and uh, heard about East Stroudsburg, what a great school it was, and, and especially in athletics, which is my main interest. So when I came up here, I uh, met with Mr. John Eiler, and actually, this was one of the best things that ever happened to me because I, I had a great relationship with Mr. Eiler. He was like a second father to me, so it was really special. One of the biggest things that uh, we tried to accomplish was to keep the same tradition that was established for years at East Stroudsburg, and, and I was very uh, proud and happy to be a part of it. It was an exciting time returning as a coach here. I felt a little bit of pressure trying to be able to maintain and keep up the same standards. To follow up on Coach Jeska's legacy and tremendous amount of success, it was exciting and, and a daunting task at the same time with the huge, huge shoes to fill of a legend. Growing up a couple hours from the Poconos, my family vacationed here regularly and just really, really fortunate uh, to be offered the position in 2007. The idea in the beginning was to not necessarily change anything, but just build on the successes that he had and the, and the coaches and the programs before him, but it, it was really an exciting opportunity that not one that I took lightly from day one. It truly is a family. We are so close, we all love each other. And just the support that you get from the whole campus as a whole is nothing like I've ever felt before. So it really just makes you feel like a community. We have, I think, 11 international players. So uh, that's a big part of things as well, where we've got all these different cultures coming together. Uh, which, which makes it really special. It's like one big extended family, and that's one of the things philosophically that I wanted to establish. Once you're part of an East Stroudsburg University soccer program, you're part of it forever for life. It's, it's something that's, that's fun to be a part of. I think it's growing, football's growing so much, or sorry, soccer, is growing so much in America to the point where it's rapid. And, and to, to have our own stadium, have our own base to defend, um, that gives new recruits something else to to fight for here. Thinking about what it would be like on the first day at our new stadium gives me a little butterflies in my stomach. It would be like Christmas morning times a million. It just creates a sense of, of identity for our team. And so when you walk around campus, you have that sense of pride and you have a sense of holding yourself to a higher standard because you have a facility behind you that supports that and represents everything that it means to be an ESU soccer athlete. I look for them to have a lot of success once the field's done. When people come to play here, it's going to be difficult for them to beat East Stroudsburg University. But it won't be possible without the support of the alums, friends of the program, and the local community. So I, I thank you in advance and uh, the players, the staff, uh, the administration, we, we all ask and, and hope you're able to give. So if you are thinking about donating, please, please, please do. Again, this is a one in a lifetime situation where you have an opportunity to really help out the program. And just think back to the days when you played here, playing at Eiler Martin, being a part of the team. And to all the alumni that have donated and, and helped with this facility, myself and, and everyone in the team would just like to say our, our biggest thank you.